But the helper, what is a helper? One called alongside to help you. You're not alone. This is a message the body of Christ needs today. This is the message the world needs today. I just want to challenge you in a good way. The next time you're in it and you just don't know which way to turn, turn to Jesus. The next time you start to pick up a phone and call that friend to tell them what's going on, try Jesus for three to five minutes. The next time you're getting ready to post on Facebook how bad it is, try Jesus for three to five minutes. The next time you get ticked off at somebody, offended, try Jesus for three or four minutes. You know, I cannot even begin to tell you how many conversations I've avoided by talking to Jesus first. I learned this in ministry. If I talk to every person that tries to offend me over the years, I don't have enough hours in the day. But if I'll talk to Jesus, I'll find out I'm probably the problem. The Lord just spoke to me the other day, said, you're not dead enough yet. I was letting things get to me. See, a dead man won't be affected by what goes on. We're dead and our life is hidden in Christ. I love the illustration. You can go to any morgue anywhere in the world and you can grab a dead man or woman up. You can grab them by the collar and slap them around and they don't feel a thing. And as Christians, that's the way we need to be. The disciples, 11 of them, gave their life for the cause. Why? They was dead. They really were dead men walking. You're dead. Your life, I've been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, it's not I that live. It's him that lives through me. In my weakness, he's perfected his strength. I'm telling you, what I'm preaching to you is it's worth your trip over here today. It's how you get rid of offense. It's how you stay out of the murk and the mire. It's okay to vent. I see so many people today, and I don't get on Facebook much, and I'm probably going to get on some toes here, but it's okay. You can say ouch and keep moving on. But I, I see so many people on Facebook today air their laundry. Air it to Jesus. He can help. All Facebook's going to do is, and I see this, I read the comments sometimes, they're going to chime in to your pity party. Jesus is going to grab you up in the arms. He's going to love you. He's going to whisper in your ear. And what he says counts. It matters, and it'll change things. I've never went to God, and I, I say this with all sincerity, I've never went to God crying my heart out as it wasn't better when I left. Amen. Did the situation change? No, I was still broke when I left. Body may still be hurting. Friendship may still be severed, but it was better. Why? Because I know the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, had just held me.